So my 12 volt DC solenoid valve for my DIY CO2 has stopped working. And I've just undone that nut. I'm going to undo these two screws to try and repair it. So you take the two screws off. You pull this out. Put that there. The two little, um, what do you call those, little dimples should be facing up. Um, and you just kind of friction fit. Just pull that out. Now you've got a seal, rubber seal here, and another seal on the side. And you've got this insert with a spring. That can sometimes catch in there and won't actuate. You can sometimes get um, oxidation on it and just get caught. Um, the spring isn't very strong. Um, you check for oxidation in there and you might need to clean that out with some isopropyl alcohol. This one doesn't look too bad. You see there's uh, a hole there and a hole there. I think that's the inlet and outlet. Um, and that will, that middle one will have to press up really uh, close to that to seal it. And if that's not doing that, then it will possibly... malfunction. So I'm going to put some of this silicon grease which is good up to 180 degrees centigrade. Oh, I don't know if this is safe but it should be in small quantity. Uh, I'm going to put some down in this hole here. Just a tiny little bit. Put that in there. And this. A little bit around this edge. Not really not a lot. Um, I think that should do it. Yes. Yeah, that's catching a lot less. You really don't want this to be sticky. That's the last thing you want. Um, I imagine this doesn't travel very much when it's... It just works. Because I think this is pulled out quite a bit. So this is the bit that is attracted, I think, by the coil and pulled it away from here. I think that's how it works. No, I don't think that's pulled out actually. I think it's, I'm not entirely sure how this works. So if that, I think that doesn't travel very much. It's just a very tiny bit. It's pulled in and out of that chamber by the magnetic field. That's how it works. Well, hopefully that's that will do the trick and just put it back together again really gently because these threads, I think that's an aluminium block I think and um, it's a very soft metal so be quite gentle but at the same time tighten it up properly I'm not sure if CO2 is quite a corrosive gas because or if it's galvanization between the two metals because I can see there's brass, I think that's brass maybe um, steel and also aluminium I'm not sure if that causes some kind of reaction let me know in the comments but hopefully that will do the trick don't want to over tighten it just tighten it um, there's two little indentations that marry up with the dots here. Um, I don't know if it has to go in a certain way. Um, I should 
should have checked that I suppose I don't think it does because it's a coil and um, I think that nut needs to go on the other way and that's it and I'm going to test that out on Lee and see if that works as you can see the bubble counter has slowed down completely and there is some back pressure in between that check valve and the bubble counter so there's uh, probably a bubble every 10 seconds which is negligible so it's working again